What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I have some Yu-Gi-Oh news for you guys. It looks like the Process Slayer theme has been revealed, we know, I guess, all of the cards from it, and that includes, of course, a Synchro Monster, a level 12 Synchro, I might add, as well as even an XC Monster. There's the XC, there's the Synchro, and there's also another one too. But yeah, we're just going to go through all these cards today. I think there's like 12 of them or something, so uh, sit back and enjoy. But first off, if you don't know what we're even talking about, uh, I can understand why, because I, I believe it was yesterday, we of course had uh, finally some info on this new set called Mystic Fighters. I, I think it was revealed yesterday, I kind of took the day off, and uh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to make a video on this, so very sorry for that. Anyway, uh, there's these three new themes in it, it's kind of like another Infinity Chasers, or Hidden Summoners, Secret Forces, that kind of thing. Uh, we basically just got summaries of each of these, where first off, we know this one is based off Jormungandr, which is the World Serpent from Nordic Mythology, and I guess they're kind of like a giant monster theme. I, I don't remember them saying just a ton about it. Of course, we knew about these new robots, which now we know are the Process Slayers and Cybers, which is everything we're going to talk about today, and then these uh, Dragon Maids, which... Hmm, for some reason got a lot of hype. <laughs> I wonder why. I think it's kind of funny too since it's already an anime that is that has dragon maids. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of people are hyped about them. I hope they live up to that hype. I'm hoping all three of these archetypes or, or themes, I guess I should say, are really good because yeah, the last couple of sets have been kind of meh, I guess really is what they felt like. But anyway, like I said, for this video, we're going to talk about the Process Slayers, which uh, basically are this new uh, Cyverse archetype, which like I said, can XC summon and Synchro summon, and looks like it's going to work with all the Cyverse uh, support we already have. So let's get to it. Also, real quick, to save some time, because uh, basically all these effect monsters are level 4, they're all cybers, they just have a few different attributes. So I'm just going to skip to the effects of each one. That way we save a little bit of time for you guys, okay? All the info will be in the description, though, if you want to follow along with me. Anyway, let's get to it. First off, we have Process Slayer Sigma. Its effect is uh, you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control no monsters in the extra deck zone, and uh, this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can activate this effect. For the rest of this turn, uh, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Cyverse monsters. Also, a special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card you control is used as a synchro material for a Rasa Slayer monster, you can treat it as a non-tuner. So plain and simple, it's a card that is easy to bring out. It is actually a tuner monster as well. I feel like I should, uh, of course, mention that. And yeah, of course, it will help you out with bringing out the synchro monsters. And uh, of course, being able to be treated as a non-tuner will make it even easier as well. So that's kind of theme with this deck too, is that they are all easy to get out there. They have some added effects to go along with that. And yeah, you're, you're kind of synchro summon like crazy. <laughs> it's basically it. So looking forward to it. After that, we have Process Slayer uh, Nabla. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn. I think that's in the top effect of each of these two, so I'm probably going to skip that, but I believe that is <laughs> the first part of all these effects. Anyway, you can tribute one Cyverse monster, Special Summon one Process Slayer monster from your deck. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Cyverse monster you control in the extra monster zone. It can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase of this turn. And also, yes, this is also a tuner monster. Again, making it easy to uh, get your monsters out there. Also being able to make it so uh, one of your Cyverse monsters that is in the extra monster zone can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Yeah, that can do some serious damage, especially for their level 12. So looking forward to trying that one out as well. I already feel like this can be part of some kind of OTK. Then, of course, we have Process Slayer uh, Adion. Uh, let's see, you can target one face-up monster on the field for the rest of this turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Cyverse monsters. Also, special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, the targeted monster gains 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. Also, this card cannot attack this turn. So basically, this card is really easy to special summon, and also it can power up one of your Cyverse monsters with 1,000 attack. There you go. <laughs> I mean, another one that can help you out with the strategy. Then we also have Process Slayer Subtra. Basically the same effect as the previous one, by the way. I'm just going to save us some time on that. It is basically the exact same thing. It's just instead you are making a targeted monster lose 1,000 attack till the end of this turn. All right, then we have Process Slayer Multiplier. You can target one uh, level 4 Cyverse monster you control. Its level becomes 8 until the end of this turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Cyverse monster you control in the extra monster zone. Double its attack till the end of this turn. First off, you're able to double the level of one of your monsters, so again, making it easier to go for those higher level synchro monsters. 
pretty simple on that. And also, you're able to double the attack of one of your monsters in the extra monster zone. Basically, you go for that big monster, you double it, add extra, and all that kind of stuff. You could probably OTK fairly easily. So, yeah, doubling a monster's attack is never anything to laugh at. And then we also have Process Layer Division. You contribute one Cyverse monster you control in the extra monster zone, special summoning up to one level four Cyverse monster each from your hand and graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one face up monster in the field, have its attack until the end of this turn. So this one is slightly different because first off, you're able to tribute a Cyverse monster that is in the extra monster zone, and then you divide it. So of course you're able to get a level four Cyverse monster from your hand and graveyard. And then also, of course, uh, being able to just have a monster on the field, being one of your opponent's monsters too, there you go. <laughs> Obviously, that's going to be good, plain and simple on that. Now we're moving on to our first Synchro monster. This one is Process Slayer Magma. It is a level 8 Fire Cyber Synchro Tuner monster, 2,500 attack and 0 defense. It's actually generic because it just requires one Tuner monster and one or more non-Tuner monsters. You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can target up two cards your opponent controls, destroy them. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can add one Rasta Slayer Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. So this one is uh, obviously a stepping stone kind of for the bigger synchro, I guess is the best way to put it. It's cool because, you know, if you're destroying uh, one of your opponent's monsters by battle, you can also just destroy two cards uh, your opponent controls. So pretty decent effect with that. Also, I do like how, you know, if it's destroyed by basically any means, you get a searching effect too, being able to go for a spell or trap card. Plain and simple, looks like a really good card. I mean, for it to be generic and everything, sounds awesome. Pyrocess Slayer. Final Sigma. That is kind of tough to read. Anyway, this is the level 12 Fire Cyber Synchro Monster, 3000 attack, zero defense, again, generic. It is it just needs one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. Unaffected by card effects, except those of Rasta Slayer cards while in the extra monster zone. Double any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent if this card battles an opponent's monster while it's in the extra monster zone. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in the owner's possession is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can add one Rasta Slayer card from your deck to your hand. So this is one that wants to be in that extra monster zone, plain and simple. You get some insane effects from that, being able to be unaffected by everything except for its own theme, because that way you can still, they can power him up. Otherwise, it wouldn't work like that. And then even doubling that damage and everything too, seriously, this is insane. You power it up, you double its attack with some of the other ones, or raise it by like a thousand, all that too, you're winning the duel. <laughs> it's that simple. And of course, too, it has a searching effect. Wow. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying that out. Of course, I love Synchro Monster, so I'll just admit that. I'm a little biased on that. And then we also have the XC Monster. It is Batch Process Slayer Lapassian. It is a rank 4 Earth Cyverse XC Monster, 2000 attack, 0 defense, requires 3 level 4 monsters to XC summon into it. So again, generic. It doesn't need anything specifically to bring this card out. And of course, its effect is you can only use the first effect of this card's name. If this card is XC summoned, you can detach up to three materials from this card, then activate that number of these effects. Send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. Send one spell or trap card your opponent controls to the graveyard. If a Ross Slayer card you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. Wow. <laughs> so, basically what this reminds me of is it's a Trishula. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> the Trichula sort of effect that it has, you know, on it being is that if you detach all three, I mean, you can just choose to detach one instead, and then it can also help protect your cards and stuff too. And you could choose one of these effects, but if you go with all three, it reminds me of Trichula because you're getting rid of a card from your opponent's hand, one they control, and even a spell or trap card. So with that, I mean, I think that's going to be one of the main cards people are going to want from this set because you could throw it into other decks too. And uh, that is insanely powerful. And now we're moving on to the spells and traps. We have Process Slayer Formula. It is a normal spell. Its effect is you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. Target one Rasta Slayer monster in your graveyard, special summon, and if you do, it gains 1,000 attack till the end of this turn. Basically a monster reborn, sort of, that also powers up a monster. There you go. <laughs> That's That kind of summarizes that pretty well. They also have an equip spell, which I think is kind of cool. Don't see too many of those. Process Divider Nuyuta, I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, equip only to a Cypher's monster. You can only use each effect of the one and two effects of this card's name once per turn. 
if uh, the equipped monster battles an opponent's monster, during damage calculation, you can send one Rasa Slayer monster from your deck to the graveyard. The equipped monster gains attack equal to that monster's until the end of this turn. If this card is sent from the Spell or Trap card zone to the graveyard, you can target one Rasa Slayer card in your graveyard, except this card, add it to your hand. So with this, you can easily uh, just send, you know, kind of like Foolish Burial, I guess, one of your Rasa Slayer monsters from the deck to the graveyard, allowing you to use it later on too. I mean, we know from the other effects, you can get them back, and then, uh, yeah, you gain attack from that. And then, of course, with its second part of its effect, when it is destroyed, then you're able to just get a Rasa Slayer card from your graveyard, except for this card, and add it to your hand. So, even has a way to get back one of your cards. Not bad at all. I'm looking forward to trying that one out as well. Uh, Process Slayer Induction, which is a continuous trap card. You can only use the second effect of this card's name only once per turn. Cypher monsters you control gain 500 attack. If you control a Rasa Slayer monster, you can send this face-up card you control to the graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. So pretty much it's an attack boost for your Cyrus monsters, and you can also then uh, destroy this card if you have a Rasa Slayer monster, and also take one of your opponent's cards with it. Nice, uh, another destruction card. You, <laughs> you can't really have too many of those, so that'll come in handy. And then our last one is uh, Process Slayer Super Factorial. It is a normal trap card this time, and its effect is you can only activate one of these cards' names uh, per turn. Target up to three Rasa Slayer monsters with different names in your graveyard, then activate one of these effects. Special summon them, but their effects are negated, and if you do, immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one Rasa Slayer synchro monster using only those materials. These synchro materials are shuffled into the deck instead of being sent to the graveyard. Special summon them, but their effects are negated, and if you do immediately after this card resolves, XC summon one Rasa Slayer XC monster using only those monsters. This card is really interesting because it's a trap card that's like here, have one of your boss monsters, whether you want to go for like one of the synchros or if you want to go for the XC monster. So with that, I mean, having an instant access to one of your boss monsters is going to be amazing. Being able to do that so easily, of course, if you're going for a synchro summon, then you're also getting those monsters that you use back into the deck afterwards. And like I said, having an easy access card to that XC as well is going to be great for you. So yeah, there you go. Those are the cards that have been revealed. And uh, what do you guys think about these process layers? Do they look pretty fun? Or are you just kind of meh about them? Because, you know, it being actually a new Cyverse uh, theme, I think that's going to come in handy because we know we're, we're always going to see more support for Cyverse and they already have a ton of support. And uh, these guys look pretty cool too. So I, I plan on trying them out, but I'm still excited to see what the other themes are going to be like as well, which hopefully we'll have info on that later on this week. I, I think we might. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think, of course, down in the comments. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more info. And as soon as we have more info on the other two themes, I will definitely make a video about them, too. So, again, thank you for watching. hope you have a great day. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.